Hi again, this is the second episode of the ASMR Closure Clinical Tip Series. With this video, I will focus on emergency profile and how to perform it with the correct manner. There are many techniques for diastema closure and I prefer to use either guided technique by using silicone index or pull matrix technique by using miter strip which is my favorite technique. Today I will describe pull matrix technique and if you want me to describe guided technique please write down in the comment. So pull matrix technique case done in cooperation with the great master Dr. Ali Hani. So this is the case step by step. We start taking intraoral view and check the size of the diastema whether it's fit for direct technique or not. Taking the shades by using tributings technique. I prefer to use body shade only for diastema cases. We use polar image to take the shade and confirm the shade by using black and white image. After that, we make complete isolation for the case using rubber dam. Now to prep or not to prep the diastema cases, we do only scratching for the outer enamel surface to increase the surface area, remove a prismatic enamel and then we get a high bone strength. As we are dealing with enamel surface, so the highest bone strength we can get it using total ash technique. So we use phosphoric acid for 20 seconds, washing for 20 seconds or more, then apply bonding agent. Now let's highlight about the tip of the day, the emergence profile. It's the contour of the restoration that start from the subgingival level to the area of the contact point. The material should be forced subgingivally to allow the papilla to grow and close all the black triangles and also it allowed to give the correct contour and the contact points. How to make the emergence profile? By using Mylar strip supported by our finger, then we apply flowable composite and I prefer to use either medium or low flow material because it will increase the adaptation to the tooth structure and then we use prop to uh, for the material subgingivally. Complete the rest of the proximal wall using body shade composite and the most important tips that I prefer is to complete the first tooth entirely before starting the next tooth. So we gauge the size of the tooth from cervical, middle and incisal third and correct the size if needed by using metal strip and then polished using polishing strip. Now the first tooth finished and polished. The next step is to perform the emergency profile of the second tooth and complete the rest of the proximal wall using sectional matrix. And this is the final situation. I will show you in this very short video how to perform the emergency profile of the second tooth using the same technique and then we can use the sectional matrix to perform the proximal contact and contour of the second tooth using body shade composite. Take your time to remove all the excess of the composite material before, before light curing and also we can use brush with the primer to have a very nice smooth surface. After light curing of this layer, we remove the sectional matrix and then we gauge the size cervically. If there is any over contoured matrix, we can remove it using metal strip. If there is any deficiency in buccolingual direction, we can use another layer. 
of body shade composite contoured remove excess and also we use a brush with a primer to level this layer and very nice the tip here is to use uh, a layer to perform the transition line by using a rule of composite adapted in the proximal wall then we can correct it using spatula and brush with a primer to have the the same level of the adjacent tooth and also we can use the mylar strip to have nice rounded contour So this is the case after finishing and polishing, after removing of rubber dam, and this is one week later. And with this image, you can see how perfectly the surface done with highly polished and textured teeth. So the only way to do a great work is to love what you do. If you have any question, don't hesitate to ask me and I will be happy to answer you. Thank you.